Incas were an indigenous tribe of people who were part of a great empire in South America between 1438 and 1533. The Incan kingdom stretched around 4,000 kilometers along the west coast of South America and held 12 million people. The story of the mysterious Inca people is a unique story of a vast empire like no other. An empire stretching from the Pacific Ocean to the Amazon without the help of a writing system, currency or any wheels of transport to unite it. So how did this empire survive and what was the glue that held it together? To understand the Incan society, we must look at their beliefs, social structure and everyday life. Only by diving deep into these areas can we start to appreciate who the Incas were and how they could rise to power so quickly. The landscape environment affected almost every aspect of the Incan life. The rugged mountain peaks of the Andes formed their customs and beliefs. They worshipped certain things from which they derived benefit. In fact, they worshipped several different gods. The most important god being Inti, or the sun god. Religion was a major aspect of life in the Incan Empire and particularly in the cities. There was a structure that held this large empire together. The Sapa Inca stood at the top of the hierarchy as the emperor and was believed to be the child of the sun god. When the Sapa Inca died, his body was preserved and he continued to live in his palace. The Incans made sacrifices to the gods so that they would be protected and rewarded. Sometimes that included human sacrifice. Priests interpreted messages from the gods and held ceremonies. The high priest of the sun, the Vilcayoma, observed the sky looking for omens. Inca society was extremely well organised. Each person was a member of an alley unit, which was a group of extended families who lived in the same region and shared their land and work. People were born into an alley unit, married within it, and died in it. The government made sure that all people were kept busy and that everyone in the cities had a role to play. This helped the Inca Empire run smoothly. Below the Emperor, or Sapa Inca, were the nobles, who usually had government jobs. Next came the Curicas, who were the heads of the alleyus. At the bottom of the class system were the workers, such as farmers or craftsmen. They lived a simple yet hard life and worked from dawn to dusk. This was the way they paid their mitres, a type of tax paid in labour for the government. The Inca people worked with their mountainous landscape to create terraces on the sides of mountain slopes so that they could grow crops like maize. The Incas created clever irrigation systems, efficient systems of roads and rope bridges. The Wari people, who were said to live before the Incas, were thought to have established the road system. Messengers on foot, called transporters, used these networks of roads to deliver goods. These transported delivered messages to other cities and areas throughout the empire. The roads were also a symbol of power. The Incas used a knot and string system to keep record of things and help communicate. These strings were made of different colours and each colour held a different meaning. The Inca capital of Cusco was the religious and political centre of the empire. Golden temples, plazas, shrines, fountains, palaces and canals are said to have existed. Cusco became a significant city with roads branching out from it into each of the four quarters. The rise of the Inca Empire was fast and even though the Incas imposed their rules and religion on conquered people, the Incas provided certain benefits such as land, food, storage, festivals, roads and most importantly protection. This ensured compliance and a united empire. It provided an Inca set of beliefs, land and social structure. It was this structure, daily life routines and religious beliefs that held the Inca Empire together and helped them rise to power very quickly with skilled labour force supporting the higher noble class in the cities.